This is extension and standing with a stick fulcrum. This is a progression from a McKenzie Method exercise called extension and standing. It's meant to be used as a part of the McKenzie Method assessment process. It should be guided by your clinician only. So extension and standing is a lumbar or low back movement where we stand, support our back, where we stand, support our back, lean back, breathe out, and return. Now sometimes to fully reduce a lumbar derangement or a problem back here, what we need to do is use a fulcrum. Now you can use a fulcrum such as leaning into like a back of a couch or a chair, but an easy thing that everyone has around is a stick, like a shovel or you know, a hockey stick, something else. And so what you do is you take the stick, you place it at your low back above the belt line, and simply you push forward as you lean back, breathe out, sink into it, and return. Now, if you have some pain doing that, you really should be pain-free doing the extension and standing first before you go to the stick. But if you have the stick, when extension and standing is pain-free, and you have the stick and you have a little bit of pain at end range, that's okay as long as it's tolerable. Um, but if it's getting worse, you want to peel back and discuss it with your clinician. Now, you can also have these lumbar derangements or impairments not at the low, low back, but the upper low back. Basically, that's called your thoracal lumbar junction. It's where your thoracic spine or your mid back meets the, low, meets the lumbar spine or low back. Now, we can have low back pain issues from here. And so what we can do is take that stick and we place it up a little bit higher. And typically, that can fit where the stick goes in front of your elbows in the crease like this. Now, you may need to move it up or move it down a little bit, or you just prefer to hold it like this. But to get this area, it's the same idea, and typically this spot needs the stick to get into it appropriately because your back likes to bend easily at the low, low back, not at this spot. So we can take the stick and simply punch forward as we lift the heart up and then return. You can lean back a little bit, but in reality, that's just getting that low, low back. You really, all you need to do is punch forward and lift the chest as far as you can go to get that area, breathe out, and return. Where if I do it this way, the only extra I'm getting out of that is some strain on my abs and that low, low back. Now another option is too, if this stick is not working for you or you wanna try something else, is to use a foam roller or you can use the couch armrest at home. So how to use an armrest and a, and a foam roller? Here's a foam roller. If you don't have one, you can use your couch armrest. So imagine this table is a couch. Here's the armrest. And if you have one of those modern couches that are really narrow, you can put a towel over it to make it more comfortable. So what you'll do is you'll lie on it like you're doing crunches and you'll find that same spot. Now this is a little aggressive just be, and a lot of challenge on your abs because it's so far down your back. It's not like you're doing this for your neck. So you need to slide it down to that spot, support your head, and what you're gonna do is simply do a reverse crunch. Lift the elbows up, lean back, and then return. Good, lean back, and if you can tolerate it at end range, breathe out, and return.